Hello and welcome at Octopus. This is our first video tutorial dealing with the Epson cartridges number 33. Therefore we show to you our test printer and Epson XP540. This time we do not show the printer's packaging, we are more focusing on demonstrating the printer's features to you. The Epson Expression Premium XP540 is working with five single ink tank cartridges. One set of these inkjet cartridges comes with the printer as a set of Epson number 33 setup cartridges. All buttons and control elements plus the display are located on an adjustable panel on the front side of the printer. As well on the printer's front side there is a slot for SD cards. It can be used to print for example photos directly from such a storage device. Right below the control panel, the printer has a paper tray. The paper tray might not be big, in our humble opinion, but after all, the printer has an option to store paper internally and have it ready when starting a print job. Another option to feed paper into the printer is at the rear side on the printer. It is suitable for example for printing on envelopes or photo paper or thicker paper material. For clearing a paper jam, the duplex unit can be removed easily. The Epson XP540 is a multifunctional printer. It is equipped with a scanner unit on its top. Hereby it is a simple version of a scanner unit. So it is not possible to insert multiple pages at once. You have to scan each page after the other. Now we take a look into the printer. This is necessary to install the inkjet cartridges. When looking on the printer's working area, you can see that Epson XP540 has a moving printhead compartment. The single ink tank cartridges are installed into this compartment. Especially interesting to see here is that there are two ink ports for the black pigmented ink from the white Epson number 33 cartridge. The next step is to start the printer for the first time. Therefore we press on the power button right after we have plugged in the power cable. In the list of available languages we have selected the setting German. You can choose accordingly to your location by using the up and down arrow buttons. We are running the printer in Germany and so we search for Germany in the list of countries. Again we use the up and down buttons and confirm our choice by pressing OK. After applying the basic settings, the printer asks to install the setup inkjet cartridges that were included in the scope of delivery. We open the upper lid of the printer to install the cartridges. The set of starter cartridges we have positioned right beside the printer. First, we install the big black Epson 33 cartridge into the printer. We take off the protection cap from the cartridge. And there you can see that this cartridge has two outlets for the black pigmented ink. We click the cartridge firmly into its position inside the printhead compartment. The installation of the remaining cartridges follows the same procedure as done with the black Epson 33 cartridge. Generally about these cartridges can be said that on each Epson inkjet cartridge number 33 there is an ink chip. This is an important and sensitive component. Please avoid inflicting any damages to that chip as with a damaged chip the cartridge is not recognized by the printer. Furthermore, the set of starter cartridges is important to be able to initialize the printer. The first start cannot be done with a different set of cartridges. As soon as all cartridges are installed, you can close the upper lid again. The initialization of the printer and the first fill of the ink system do not start automatically. On the display you are asked to start this process by pressing on the green start button. When the initialization has been completed, this is shown as a message on the display. 
Now we would like to demonstrate to you how to deactivate the automatic updates of the firmware. Usually you can find the options for updating the printer's firmware in the menu under the point settings. The structure of the menu of different Epson printers is similar to each other, but there are small differences in most cases. You can see that we have to search a little while to find the firmware related points. This brings up the question, why do we emphasize the importance of deactivating the automatic firmware updates? In the past it happened that updated firmwares made alternative material that worked fine before the firmware update not being recognized by the printer after the update anymore. That might not be the outcome with every update but to deactivate the updates is a precaution measure. After searching for a while, we can find the settings in point 10 of 11 in the settings menu point. Interesting to us is the third point called notifications. Looking into that point, you can see that in the standard setting, the automatic updates are active. To deactivate, we choose the corresponding option and confirm with OK. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for watching. As we have said at the beginning, this is our first tutorial dealing with the Epson number 33 cartridges. We are really positive about being able to show to you soon our suitable Octopus Fluids refillings and the suitable refillable cartridges with the working auto reset chip. So thanks one more time. We hope to see you soon at another Octopus video tutorial.